I guess we're doing this. It is now 11 o'clock almost. I've done four miles and I feel like shit. <laughs> oh no, it's terrible. Um, I wanted to get to the campsite at 11 miles. I don't even think I'll make it. I won't even make it to House of Creek this night. <sighs> we'll see. I was not expecting this heat. Definitely not when tonight there was like a little bit of ice on my tent in the morning. Not expecting. It is so hot. Last night I was a bit cold, now I'm too hot. It really is a trail of ice and fire. I've got five liters of water with me, which is hopefully enough to get to Hauser Creek and then Hauser Creek I will fill up, but I also heard it's like a second pool. So we'll see. Good morning. Damn, I feel like, I feel very bad. Um, <laughs> update, my feet are totally fine, which is awesome. But my hips hurt from my backpack and my shoulders as well. Maybe because I carried six liters of water with me. But it's fine now. <laughs> I hope so. But I do have a big headache, so I'm gonna drink a lot of water and we'll see how it goes. <sighs> Plans for today? Recharging at Lake Marina. That's that's the plan and the rest we'll see. Uh, probably I'm gonna try to get to Boulder Oaks or like uh, in between Lake Marina and Boulder Oaks. Because I don't want to pay the five pay the five dollars. Probably not worth it, but I'm gonna try. But <laughs> in a week my shoes are at Warner Springs, so I wanna be there by Friday, if I can. We'll see. No rush, no rush. And that's all the plans I have. <laughs> no rush. That was Lake Marina right there. Oh, it was really nice. But I just want to get going. But I should probably find a trail first. It was a trap there. I didn't think it would be, but there were some nice showers. <laughs> Only after one day, but really needed it. <sighs> no, it was really crowded. But so many nice people like oh, I want to stay I want to find uh, the peace and quiet but it's so nice here so I, I left after spending there five hours yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm also kind of angry at myself if you know what I mean for staying there too long because I arrived at 12 and I only left at five uh, yeah it was just too nice and even though I stayed there for that long I didn't really uh, rested. Uh, I arrived at 12, called my parents, my boyfriend and then all of a sudden uh, it was already 2 so I decided to get some food and eat it of course, had some nice fries and then at 3 I left and I went to to the campground, took a shower, met some other people, stayed there for the talk, I even had some Belgians there they were living in San Diego and it was just nice to see some Belgians again. And well, and now it's 5.30 and I still have to do a couple of miles before I get there. I don't know. 
I feel sad. That I feel angry at myself. I really do for staying there too long. Cause like you need to hike. You need to get the mouse. You need to get there. And I don't know why. Why do I need to get there? Well, that's just my mind talking. <laughs> Guess what? I hiked 20 miles already. We're gonna get there. I love the solitude on the trail. Just something I had to share. No, it's it's so nice after being <coughs> God there. <clears throat> okay. Oh that feels better. Alright. So what I was saying, I love the solitude on the trail after being in Mexico for two weeks. In hostels constantly being surrounded by people. And then the, the first day of trails with a lot of talking and Lake Moreno was pretty busy too. I decided to camp alone at like mile 24. It's pretty early but I didn't want to do the descent into Boulder Oaks where more people would be and there would be water so more um, wetness. More condensation on my tent so I decided to stay up and put my tent there. Uh, it was so nice, but when it got dark, I got like a little bit scared of like cougars sitting in the bushes and watching me. And, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to get over that. Um, so I went to pee when it was already dark, and it was the stars. Like, oh my god, I never seen it like that. Like that, not even in Mexico. <sighs> but I was also afraid, so I I just did a quick look up and wonder, and then I just went in my tent because. I was scared. <laughs> well, I guess that happens on the trail. Anyway, we'll, we'll see where we'll get today. I'm excited. I'm feeling it. It's going to be a good day. I walked along a ridge, 12 o'clock in the sun, and I got a headache. One and a half hour? No, just... Okay, so the weirdest things keep happening to me. I just fell asleep for one hour. One and a half hour? No, just an hour. And now it is clouded, like completely clouded. I, how did that even happen? Um, so I'm not sure. Should I pass oh, on? Should I? Oh, the tree. <laughs> oh god, I feel like I'm going crazy. Definitely gonna be weird. Okay, this is definitely gonna be weird, but. I made myself half a liter of coffee, two packages of cappuccino. Um, it doesn't seem like you can make good decisions when you're still like waking up and a bit tired. And now I got half a liter of coffee. That should wake me up, make some better decisions. <laughs> All right, it's only six more miles to the campsite I was planning to stay at. So two, three hours of walking should be fine. Uh, it will be going uphill slowly, but I'm just gonna wait it out um, an hour or two and then I'm leaving at four for the latest. I'll make it before dark. Now it's time for some coffee. And
I'm out of water. This is gonna be fun. I thought I had like half a liter from the point where I took a break to get to my campsite with water, which was still five and a half miles. Looks like I didn't have half a liter. And I'm out of water with still four and a half miles to go. This is gonna be fun. Oh my God, it's two more miles. It's two more miles. And I'm tired. How is that possible? Well, Brit, you should have drank water. You should have taken water with you. Okay, note to self. Bring water. All right, guys, this is how fast things change on the trail. I'm pumped for my last bit of energy and I'm gonna make it. Hungry, thirsty, but I'm gonna make it. One and a half more miles. Can you hear this? There's water flowing. Water and water. Oh, it's flowing, it's flowing water. Hi Spurs! Hi, Britt. Um, so I'm wearing, my trail name is Spurs, and that is based on the fact that I'm wearing this basketball jersey. Um, I'm from San Antonio, and the San Antonio Spurs are the basketball team. Last year when I hiked the Appalachian Trail, I wore a different Spurs jersey, number 20 for Manu Ginobili. This year, hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, I'm wearing number 21 for Tim Duncan. So. Both are Spurs les legends, and uh, people have been calling me Spurs on the trail because I'm wearing the jersey and I wear it my whole hike. So that is my trail name. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's a desert right there. I'm sorry for my stupid face, but I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. At first, I just thought I saw mountains, and I was like, oh, wait, that's the ocean, and then. Oh my god, that is a desert. That is a desert. Damn, that is pretty. Oh god, I can't believe I'm here. Oh, it's like a dream. It's just... There goes my trekking pole. Totally worth it. You guys, I can't stop dreaming about this view. That's the desert right there. Just brown sand. No trees, mountains. Oh God, take me there. It's very windy here, so first of all, apologies for the wind noise, but I couldn't help filming this. This is, this is what the PCT is. Look at that, that's desert. That's desert right there, and that is awesome. 
I've oh, this is just sick look at all that magic it's so unreal do you know like when you're playing video games you see where the world ends because it's, it just looks a little bit too good to be true this is what it looks like like the mountain is still real and then all the desert is just off map off map beauty just a place you know you'll never get to anybody want to see some magic well it always looks better in person than it does on camera Okay, found a water source, but it does look kind of sketchy. But there's another water source 12 miles ahead, which is just a puddle under a bridge. So this one will be my best bet. I'm gonna fill everything I got. This looks a little sketchy with the dead bees. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh my god, there's water behind. Yeah, about a gallon no. and a half. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry for the wind, yet again, <laughs> but I just want to say that I just left the trailhead, got four liters of water with me, three days of food, so it's kind of heavy, I guess it's like 16 kilograms. I've never had my backpack weigh this much before. Anyway, what I really wanted to say is that the, the desert section will always have three colors for me which is the blue of the sky, the green of the plants, and the orange of the pop. I'm hiking up to the sky. at the campsite and I thought it was time for a little break and some alone time before I got started at setting up my tent and cooking and stuff it's pretty early but that's okay I've done many miles today I think like 16 the 27 kilometers not too bad but there was A lot of this, a lot of wind, a lot of wind, like crazy a lot of wind, and it's been hard. Well, the trail has been hard, life has been hard, but it's also been so nice because we've had so many gorgeous views. 
I'm feeling stoked about the trail. Um, I've been meeting some people. It's not going as fast as I thought it would go, but it's coming along and I'm okay with that. Like I'm okay with being alone and hiking together sometimes. So it's nice to have a break from both. Yeah, I kind of like the trail. It's awesome. No wind. Not anymore. God, I'm sunburned. The trail is beautiful. Okay, so the wind has quieted down just a bit. It's so pretty to see the desert. And Julian's somewhere out there. Now let's just walk along the ridge. The desert keeps on going and I'm going and going and going. I'm so done with the trail right now. Oh my god, I can't wait to get to Julian. There's been just so much wind and ugh, it's going up, up, up. I really hate it now. But we're almost there. I think this one's the last mountain. No, this is what I imagined the desert to be like. But I'm glad it isn't. Bye for mama. <laughs> Things I like about the trail. You can see like the path and trekking poles next to it. Like I mean the trekking pole dips right there and right there. You know there's like a bridge here. Society did that so we, we didn't have to wet our feet to cross the river. Well, the trains, the trail things, ah, oh, that's stupid. Let's just cross like the old ones used to do. And get wet feet. Things I love about the trail. Because so many people wear all trails, you always see these little yay footprints along the path. I've been waiting to smile, hey. Been holding it in for a while, hey. Take it with me if I can. I'm dreaming of this as a child. I'm on top of the world. Oh, thank you. <laughs>